What's up everybody and welcome to Let's Talk Money. I'm Nikolai Timoshuk Jr. and today I'm going to jump in talking about credit cards. What are these things I'm holding? Why do they keep getting higher? Why do I have a whole stack of them? Well, these are credit cards and in the mix I have a debit card which is different. So if you don't understand what a credit card is, that's what I'm here to do in this video. I'm here to give you an overview, tell you the benefits, the negatives, the usage, why have a credit card? I don't know. You don't know. Maybe we all know. Maybe we don't know. But this video will help actually make that process simpler of understanding, should I get a credit card? Should I not? Should I have them? Should I have a better limit? What's going on? Is my credit score low? Why won't they give me a credit card? I didn't get approved and they sent me a letter in three to five business days and it didn't even explain anything. Well, guess what? That's what I'm here to do. I'm going to explain that to you. We're going to jump right in. We're going to talk about credit cards and why they may or may not be beneficial to you in your life and why they may or may not have been beneficial to me in my life. Take this information as you will. This is my personal opinion, and I have been able to do these things in my life based off my experiences. So I hope this helps you, and let's jump right in. So first things first, we're gonna jump into what a credit card even is. This right here, what is this? It's a piece of plastic that gives you money that doesn't belong to you. Okay, why would I want that? Well, why wouldn't you want that? It's money that doesn't belong to you and you get to use it. But, 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 you have to pay it all back and they get to charge you interest. So, <laughs> what and is so this, that, the other? You gotta be careful with credit cards, okay? You gotta be, just like you gotta be careful with anything that charges interest in the world, you got to be careful with credit cards because it can get you in a lot of trouble if you're not disciplined and you're not willing to actually take steps that help you use and then actually take care of that debt and not get sucked into a bunch of interest and then have a bunch of credit cards out there that are fully maxed out and all of a sudden you're in complete debt and your life is in shambles because you can't pay it back. <laughs> so slow your roll, do not jump into a bunch of credit card debt because you think this is just free money that never has to get paid back and your life is gonna be good. So that's what a credit card simply is. It's a piece of plastic that allows you to use credit that does not belong to you, but you have to pay it back and you have to do it with interest unless you do it smartly and actually work through some of these things, which I will explain a little bit later. Let's take a quick commercial to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell, turn on your post notifications, make sure you like this video, share this video, and drop a comment below so I know what you guys wanna talk about as I drop more and more videos. Please interact with this video so we can reach a wider audience all around the world. Sorry for this commercial break. Let's get back to the next tip of what I want to talk about. Now, secondly, I'd like to talk about the benefits of a credit card. What does it allow you to do? Well, a credit card is good because it gives you a line of credit. It also helps you build your credit score and I'll tell you some places you can actually use it. So why is this even good? What is the benefit of it? Well, you have money that you didn't have before. That's one thing. Um, and things happen in life. Emergencies happen. And there's times when you need money when you don't have money, right? We've all been there. I've been there. You've probably been there. And probably 99% of the world has been there. And that's what credit cards allow you to do. They allow you to spend money that you don't personally own in your own name. Is that a good thing? Yes and no if you don't know how to deal with it, if you're not experienced with that type of thing, if you just use, 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 and abuse a credit card, it will get you in a lot of trouble, I promise you. But the benefits are that you get to actually use money that's not there. It helps you build your credit score, which you want when you're dealing with wanting to purchase a house one day. Go check out that other video, that's really good knowledge too. But if you ever wanna get into buying a car, if you ever wanna get into any type of needing loans for any kind of reason, Building your credit score with a small credit card is the way to do it because you can actually go in and start building that limit over and over and over by using really good habits. Now, with everything good that comes, of course, let's talk about the third thing, the negatives of having a credit card. Okay, let's talk about when your credit score goes down because you didn't make a payment. Let's talk about the interest rates. Let's talk about messing up your entire life because you thought one little credit card was gonna do you a whole lot of good and instead you took one, built your credit a little bit, took out another one, got a bigger limit, took out another one and now all your credit cards are maxed out and you can't get back on track. You can't pay off your debt. You can't pay off these credit cards and these high interest rates that are coming. But guess what? Everything good has something bad. That's the way life is. And with credit cards, it's not necessarily seen as a negative, 
It's just seen as something that you have to take care of. Nobody's going to give you anything free in life, so you can't imagine that someone's going to give you a lot of credit and say, hey, don't worry about it. You don't have to pay us back. It might be seen as a negative, like, oh, crap, I have to actually make that payment this month. But it's a payment that you agreed to that you would be making with certain interest rates that you also agreed to when you took out that credit card and applied for it. Not necessarily a negative, but those are the downfalls of having a credit card. You're going to have to make payments back, you're going to have interest rates, and your credit score can go down if you don't make those payments on time. So we've talked about what a credit card is, the benefits, the negatives, why you should use one, why maybe you shouldn't use one, but let's go into talking about the different types of credit cards. So right here, I'm gonna explain to you, there's different ways to use different credit cards. So for instance, if you travel and you watch TV or you watch YouTube videos, you get these ads that pop up and they're like, use travel rewards to go fly around the world and get a free flight. That's real. Well, there's also business credit cards. There's also credit cards that you can use for entertainment and different credit cards have their own rewards and their own purpose. So if you want something for leisure, and you want something for entertainment for yourself for your family while you're going out having dinner there's certain credit cards that actually make sense to use in that sense and then you have stuff that makes sense to use for traveling and then there's stuff that makes use that sense for business for instance I'm a big advocate for Capital One I have Capital One I'm a big advocate for Chase and Discover when I was a college student I actually took out a Discover It card and that's what got my credit on a roll that's what got me started and then that turned from Discover to Capital One which held me over for a really long time and then I was able to apply for a Chase credit card for my business. So what that did is it helped me kind of take a stepping stone and I had building blocks along the way. Limit started about $500. That was my initial limit when I was in college with the Discover It card and I was excited. I was a student. It was a student credit card when I went to college and it actually got me started for the rest of my life so that I could build my credit score and within five years of graduating college, I already had two credit cards and I was able to apply for a home mortgage just by using these credit cards and paying them off every single month and using them as building blocks. Then traveling the world, I was actually able to use my Capital One card with no foreign transaction fees. You have to imagine, you know how many fees go through your credit card when you're traveling abroad, not in your own country where you got that credit card? Well, a ton if all you're doing is swiping a credit card. And everybody accepts Visa around the world, it just is what it is. Well, Capital One actually allowed me to use their credit card and not get hit for any foreign transaction fees. So anything I paid for, I just had to pay it back and didn't have to worry about any of those things. And those things come with other credit cards too. So not every credit card may work for you. Not every credit card is bad for you, but you just have to make sure you find out what works for you because there's so many different types, whether it's the entertainment, whether it's travel, whether it's business, whatever it is, it just has to make sense for you and it has to work for you. So I would do my due diligence and make sure you research what's the best credit card for you before you actually apply. Now, I wanted to touch on one thing that's extremely important to me is how to build your limit, okay? So initially, I told you the story of getting my credit card in college and they gave me a $500 limit. I was to the moon. I was like, wow, this is awesome. I got approved. That was the first thing. I was super just shocked that I even got approved for a credit card. I had no credit history, nothing. And Discover actually gave me a credit card with a $500 limit. And so I had my first credit card. And I was like, wow, $500 limit. What am I going to do? So I would actually fill up my gas tank with that. I would buy food here and there. But every single month, I would make sure to pay that off. So I would use about anywhere from 25 to 50% of my limit. I would actually go into using about 125 to $200 of that $500 limit, but every single month I made sure I paid it off because you don't want that interest rate actually coming and charging you interest every single month. So every month, if you don't pay off what you borrowed, you have to pay that interest on that amount of money. You're not paying it on the full limit, not the $500 that they gave you. You're paying it on the 200 that you spent. So whatever that interest rate is, you're going to be paying that on top of having to pay them back. So if you can use about 25 to 50%, whatever it is for you that works, and that you know you have enough cash in the bank account to pay off that limit, that is what will help build your credit score up. So I went from having a $500 limit to a $750 limit to a $1,000 limit, then a $2,000 limit, and then I applied for another credit card, and boom, they gave me a $5,000 limit. And then when I applied for my third credit card, boom, they gave me a $10,000 limit. Then I got another credit card for a business account, and I got a $15,000 limit. So it just keeps climbing as long as you're building your credit score and paying off this debt that you're actually accruing 
little by little. Don't just max out your credit card. Don't just max out your credit card. Don't just max out your credit card and then try to pay it all off and then you forgot to pay it by the due date and now you're getting charged interest and now your life is in shambles because you can't keep up. You have to take it step by step. Just like anything in life, you have to make sure that you're taking the necessary steps to make sure you're protecting yourself. We're human. We have bad habits. We do things that we probably shouldn't do. Spend money on things we shouldn't spend on. But if you actually set a goal in place before you get a credit card and tell yourself what you will allow yourself to spend, how you'll pay it off, and continue doing that, your credit score will soar through the roof and you'll be able to get things like home mortgages, you'll be able to get things like loans for cars, whatever it is that you may need, a business loan, people will see or creditors will see that, hey, this is a reliable person and he or she will be able to pay back the debt. Slowly build your credit, slowly build that score, and slowly start building that limit so that you can actually apply for these type of things. Now, in summary, I'm not telling you to go out and apply for a credit card and get one, but what I'm telling you to do is make sure you do your research, understand what a credit card can do for you, but what it also can do to you if you don't use it the right way. Understand what a credit card can do for you, but what it also can do to you if you don't use it the right way. A credit card has tons of benefits. You can get rewards back. You can build your credit score. You can actually start, you know, just kind of shaping your financial future into getting that credit score up so that you can start having that leveraging power as you get older or whatever phase of life that you're in, you can actually start applying for loans and getting a home mortgage and things like that. But if you don't do it correctly, a credit card will be your financial downfall and it is so easy and I bet there's so many people out there that have been in this situation that have gotten a credit card and it just kind of snowballed into a bunch of debt but if you set a goal and if you set rules in place of how you're going to use that credit card it will be so beneficial and it will make sure that you actually have a credit history and a credit score that is good for you when you want to make big purchases like a home or a car or whatever that might be for you so without further ado I hope this video found you well and that you actually got to experience some information that helped you along the way. Credit cards are good, but they can be bad, so make sure you do your due diligence and your research, as I've said many times in this video, so that you are in good shape if you ever do this. It's like Allstate, you gotta be in good hands. Make sure you figure all those things out, do your own research, figure out what credit card works best for you if you decide to get one, and make sure that you set rules in place for yourself. Alrighty folks, thanks again so much for watching this video. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and make sure you hit that bell, turn on your post notifications, hit that share button, hit that like button, and drop a comment below so I know what you guys want to talk about as these videos keep coming out, and so we can keep reaching an awesome, huge, wide audience all around the world. Without further ado, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.